part of the triad getting hit with one to two inches. Yeah, so very juicy moisture came in from the beaches, Margot. And look at this from this morning, those clouds giving way to a little bit of sunshine over Winston-Salem. You're looking out through the tower cam here and oh, nice to see that sunshine, but it's still on the chilly side. We've got those conditions also improving in Stewart after a few showers tried to roll in from the west there. You'll see more rain chances building through the afternoon, though. So we get this little lull in the action and also from North Wilkesboro. Beautiful from the town hall there. You saw the sunshine and now the clouds beginning to fill in from the west. And so those showers kind of clearing out earlier this morning. You see over Reedsville, Yanceyville, this is where we've got just a little bit left over from this initial low. Now this coastal low continues to ride up along the coast. So over Norfolk and the Virginia beaches here as we look out to Charleston, though, West Virginia and south along the Blue Ridge Parkway. We've got a little weak front that is moving through. This, though, is going to be coupled with some upper level support to bring in some showers, possibly a thunderstorm as we go into early evening tonight. And notice it's trying to mix into some wintry precipitation as temperatures there are a little cooler aloft, but right now on the ground. Some light showers are possible. Some sprinkles getting going. Meantime, you're going to have a chance to dry out in Reedsville and Yanceyville from the one to two inches out there over the last 24 hours. Pretty juicy moisture moved in that low right close by, helping to encourage those showers through early morning. And you notice there's a drier cutoff line here from Stewart West through Danbury and down through Winston-Salem. You had some pockets of passing showers even through Davie County, but that was about it. Now we've gotten more rain coming from the west. First, though, you can see that transition of good juicy moisture off to the north and east. The rainfall totals that we see from this system should be just a little bit less unless you get a good strong thunderstorm overhead. The orange showing you the dry air to the south, and there's more coming in from the west right behind these fronts for the weekend. So we look forward to sunshine. 51 degrees in Greensboro. We're at 48 in Ashboro, and you are nice and mild at 57 in Mount Airy right now with a little bit of sunshine. You have actually more sunshine than other folks out there at 51 degrees in the trot. We're expecting upper 50s, low 60s possible, but unlikely for everyone. If you've got that sunshine holding on for a little longer, like Burlington or Seagrove area in Ashboro, you may be able to make it to near 60. Your rain chance is steadily coming up between 3 and 6 o'clock. We'll keep in a chance of an isolated storm or two through about 8, 9 o'clock as showers wind down through midnight and then tomorrow morning you're clearing. You're colder at 38 degrees. Your winds are out of the west northwest at about 5 to 10, so it's pretty chilly out there as you kick off your early Friday morning. But the nice thing is that we have lots of sunshine to look forward to. You're at 55 degrees with that rain chance of about 60% right now for you, and we are seeing some patchy showers developing, and that continues to increase until we drop it down after the dinner hour. So from west to east is the next movement of this system. As it clears out, we eventually start to clear you out with a chance, though, of flurries through early tomorrow morning. So in the mountains, you've got another wave of moisture that may linger right behind our low. So we'll be watching for that. Here's that thunderstorm possibility from areas of North Carolina, from Charlotte north out through Winston-Salem and Greensboro. And that hour by hour forecast shows that those showers will be eventually getting out of here around 9 and 10 o'clock, moving from west to east. We begin to see clearing and through certainly tomorrow morning. Things improve greatly. Here's your seven day forecast. We kick you out to, uh, down to 38 degrees, 60 on your Friday, 57 Saturday and Sunday. Oh, looking good with partly sunny skies and then rain chances returning Monday, a little warmer too.